हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक इंटरैक्टिव क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट इवेंट्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टडीड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट एंड इंटरैक्टिव क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट वी स्टडीड व्हाट इज बेसिक लिस्ट एंड सेकेंडरी लिस्ट एंड वी हैव टोटल थ्री इंटरैक्टिव क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट इवेंट्स एट लाइन सेलेक्शन एट यूजर कमांड एंड टॉप ऑफ पेज ड्यूरिंग लाइन सेलेक्शन नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद अवर फर्स्ट इंटरक्टिव क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट इवेंट दैट इज एट लाइन सेलेक्शन नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद एट लाइन सेलेक्शन इवेंट नाउ वी ऑल नो इवेंट आइडर रिक्वायर ए यूजर एक्शन or it will trigger automatically when their time has been reached now at line selection this event always requires a action from our end we need to perform the action now what are those actions you can go for either of these ways to go for at line selection event we will perform any of this action to go for at line selection event now what are those three action what is first action when user double clicks on the line suppose i will parallelly show in the system also suppose i am running the program this is your input screen or selection screen i am giving the input i am clicking on to execute button this is our basic list basic list the list which is coming first is called as basic list now what is first way for at line selection when user double clicks on the line suppose i am double clicking on the line whenever i will double click on the line which event will trigger at line selection and this is your which list secondary list you all know very well in case of interactive classical report we have basic list and secondary list so what is first way whenever you will double click on the line which event will call at line selection and yes we are performing action what the action we perform double click now many time customer is not comfortable with double click but he what customer is comfortable he will simply select the record and do f2 you can do f2 from the keyboard if someone ask you in any interview what is the shortcut key for sell what is the shortcut key for double click answer is always always f2 it is a reserved key given by sap F2 is the shortcut key for double click. Suppose if I am dub, if I am putting the cursor on a record, if I am selecting this record and I am doing F2, you can see which event called at line selection. At line selection will also call at that point of time, and this is your which list secondary list. Now what is third way? Now you are comfortable with first way. What is first way? you can double click on the line this is one way to call at line selection event but the second way you can simply select a row and do do f2 it will automatically call at line selection but is third way third way is just select a line suppose i am selecting first line and you can click on to which button choose button are you able to see choose button and you can see here also in the bracket it's clearly mentioned the shortcut is f2 so you can do f2 or you can click on to choose button suppose if i am selecting and click on to choose button again at line selection event will trigger and it is taking us to which particular list secondary list so this is your basic list and whenever we are going for action action means what we are double clicking yes at line selection called but is second way same to same thing what i can do i can select and do f2 
yes but is third way to trigger at line selection i can simply put the cursor or select a line and i can click on to choose button if i am going for any of this action always always which event trigger at line selection event trigger an important question from the interview perspective what are the various actions what are the various actions to trigger at line selection first way you can double click second way you can select a row and do f2 f2 is the shortcut for double click third way you can select a row and click on to choose button yes in all these actions which event will call at line selection event will trigger now we but we will do we will take a requirement and we will achieve that requirement in that requirement we will go for at line selection event same to same requirement we will develop suppose our input will be select option of order number range of order number whenever we will execute the program firstly we will get the data from order header table have you seen this is the data from order header table order number order date payment mode and currency this data is from the header table header table and this is which list basic list you all know whenever the list which is coming for the first time is called as basic list now i will double click on the first record have you seen on the first record what is the order number order number is 1 whenever i will double click which event will trigger at line selection event will trigger and this is your which list secondary list secondary list i clicked i clicked on to first record what is the order number 1 so when secondary list is displayed have you seen the details of order number 1 is only coming and this is from which table order item table order number order item number order description item cost this data is from which table order item table suppose i am double clicking on to third record on the third record what is the order number order number is 3 so whenever i will double click on order number 3 it will display the details of order number 3 on which particular list secondary list from which particular table order item table just think what the requirement is if i will summarize the requirement input will be order number whenever we will execute firstly the details of orders will be displayed from which table order header table only header table and this will be which list basic list so firstly we will display the data on the basic list using which particular table header table header table whenever you will double click on any of the record double click or you are doing f2 or you are going for choose button if the control will go to secondary list on the secondary list it will display data from which table order item table for that particular order number only suppose i clicked on to fifth record for the order for the record number fifth order number is 5 so it is only displaying the details of order number 5 on the secondary list so this is our full requirement we will develop same to same requirement what is our requirement input will be order number on the basic list we will display the details from order header table on the secondary list we will display the details from order item table and which particular order number display will be this will be displayed on the secondary list whatever the row you are selecting whatever the row you are selecting whatever the order number is there only the details of 
that order number will display on the secondary list. Widely, widely used example in the project and most important example of the project. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with our first interactive classical report event that is at line selection. At what time, at on what action this event will trigger? Whenever user will double click on the line, but is second way, select a line and do F2, select a line and click on to choose button. Whenever user will go for any of this action, which event will call add line selection. And we took the requirement that we will develop a program in which firstly we will display the data from order header table on which list basic list whenever user will double click on any line or select a line and do f2 or select a line and click on to choose button the control will go to secondary list on the secondary list we will only display that data from order item table for that order number only whatever the order number row we are selecting the details of that order or number only will display on the secondary list in the next video we will start with the practical part of this particular event we we'll start developing the program for the same so that's it in this video thank you